Hi, Amir Gandhar here, back with another short update on auditing and reporting. I realize it's been a while since the last one of these short updates. We've been very busy uh, addressing the impacts of COVID-19 on 2020 year ends. So please look out for our comprehensive guide to all of the issues involved on, on the website. And of course, we've been connecting with standard setters, regulators, uh, and, and government on, on a very regular basis to make sure there's clarity uh, and, and that, uh, you know, there's a reasonable approach where needed around, for example, lodgement dates and deadlines. The Australian Audit Inquiry, we're expecting a final report very soon. Lots of, um, you know, really positive recommendations made in the interim report, but we're continuing to engage and, and we will continue just making sure that the transitional impacts uh, are avoiding disruption on, on all of that and, and, and particularly that there aren't disproportionate impacts on small and medium sized entities. We're also pressing ahead with uh, our plans for a sort of proactive approach to audit policy in New Zealand, which really has been called for by stakeholders that want to see a sensible discussion on the issues there, uh, getting ahead of any sort of external catalyst. Uh, to make sure that it's a it's an approach that works for New Zealand and isn't just importing issues from overseas. The Accounting Standards Board here in Australia is pressing ahead with its uh, work to reform the accounting framework and now moving into the not-for-profit phase, looking at a number of tiers ranging from you know simplified accrual accounting down to cash-based accounting. It's really heading in a direction very similar to New Zealand um, on the not-for-profits, but watch this space. The international projects, both audit and accounting, that have been on hold are starting to heat up again. So on the audit side, that's a large fraud and going concern project. And on the accounting side, their recent presentation disclosure exposure draft and a consultation around the approach on goodwill and impairment. As always, check out the website and please subscribe to Reporting and Assurance News for more on any of this and uh, look forward and hope to see you soon.